Jones coming by way of knockout. Tiene un récord de 23 victorias, una derrota y un empate con 17 ganadas por knockout. Aquí está el campeón mundial interino del CMB Peso Ligero de Tijuana, Baja California, México. Here is the interim WBC lightweight champion of the world, introducing Antonio Tony De Marco. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner on my right, wearing red trunks with blue and yellow trim. He weighed in the same as his opponent, 135 pounds. Y su rival en la esquina roja, pesando 135 libras. This two-time world champion has established a remarkable record of 26 wins, no losses, with all 26 wins coming by way of knockout. Su record, 26 victorias sin derrota, con todo de ellos por knockout. De Mérida, Venezuela, aquí está el campeón. El invicto campeón mundial absoluto del CMB peso ligero. Here is the undefeated WBC lightweight champion of the world, Edwin Dinamita. And once again, our referee in charge, now to give instructions, Lawrence Cole. So much Spanish I know. Edwin. Antonio. Play Olympia, y buena suerte. And as I do. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the classic story of the Matador versus the Bull. The Matador, young Tony DeMarco has to use his technique, jab, stay outside, pick his shots, tie him up, and frustrate the champion. The Bull, Edwin Valero wants to make it fast and furious from the start, throw the youngster out of his comfort zone, get inside, and unleash a blitzkrieg that the 24-year-old ne has never seen. And we begin. Two southpaws. Valero would love nothing better than at any point in this first round to push DeMarco against the ropes. You can see that's his goal as he continues to move forward. The jab is an important weapon for both men. Valero uses it mostly as a range finder. There's a beauty from DeMarco. DeMarco normally a slow starter. Valero said he watched only two rounds of tape of DeMarco. DeMarco and his trainer, Romulo Quirarte, uh, just the opposite. They watched what they could get their hands on of Valero, even though that's not much. Valero told us that he wasn't going to think about just swarming uh, DeMarco early, that he'd rather just take his time and do what he needed to do, and the big punches would come. Uh, I saw Valero in the elevator in the hotel. He doesn't speak very much English, nor I do Spanish, but he looked at me, he threw a right hand, and he said, I'm a machine, I end it quickly, <laughs> with saw, the right hand. He saw me in the, uh, live in the uh, elevator, did the same thing, and used an expletive to add to that. And already some blood on the face of Valero. Underneath the eye, on the cheekbone. What? I guess that came from a punch, I don't know. May have come from that stiff jab delivered by DeMarco at the very beginning. And that's what Valero wants to do when he gets DeMarco on the ropes, throw a lot of punches. Valero has the mentality of a puncher. He thinks if he hits you, you are going to get hurt and ultimately you're going to go. And that's the mentality as that's the way he proceeds in fights. DeMarco is a very accurate puncher, folks. He's a converted right-hand puncher. Decided to turn southpaw when he watched his uncle, a former prize fighter, 
who was a southpaw fight. So he has a lot of strength in the right jab and the right hook, and he'll go under and over with it. There's the first good left hand from Valero. Let's see what it did to DeMarco. He landed a really good one. And a cut on the right cheek of Valero. Also a rags to riches story. Father left when he was seven years old. He worked selling fruit at the fruit stand. As he searched for work, he found a job working at, of all places, a gym. And he ended up becoming a national champion in his homeland of Venezuela. And that's the end of the first round. Okay, it's very simple. It's, it's just a little cut. It's no big deal. It's nothing. It is nothing. 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 DeMarco landed this punch that we believe caused the cut. That was the, the really good jab that we believe caused the cut on the cheekbone of Edwin Valero. The jab was a very effective weapon for DeMarco on that one, and that's where he wiped the blood. But Valero was able to land a telling straight left hand. That second one was the good punch. DeMarco is able to take it very, very well. Round two, scheduled for 12 for the WBC lightweight title. Edwin Valero, the champion in red. Antonio, the kid DeMarco in black. The DeMarco people believe that if they can take this fight into the fifth or sixth or seventh round, they'll do well. Although, we should say that Valero has won his recent fights in that same time frame with stoppages. And that's where DeMarco doesn't want to be against the ropes, and he motors off it. DeMarco's people telling us that they want to keep this fight in the center of the ring. There's a left hand by Valero grazing the head, but look how peaceful, how tranquil. Antonio DeMarco is very relaxed to start this fight. He is. The one mistake he's making, and Valero's taking advantage of it, is he's bending down a bit, and Valero's starting to land some of those straight left hands. As when DeMarco bends in, that's a big mistake, and Valero's got the power with that straight left. He's just like a, like a freight train with that left hand. He's always got an eye toward throwing it. I'll say it again. DeMarco is slow starter. He'll pick his shots. But he really turns his punches over, and sometimes they come out of nowhere. You know, Valero showing more, uh, some good combinations. That was a great jab by DeMarco. Valero is a good combination puncher when he employs that, and he's doing it in spots here tonight. Valero with both hands down. Valero saying that he caught an elbow. Now he's got a gash oh, wow. over his right hand. Now, that didn't come from a punch. Whoa. I guarantee you that. Wow! Yeah. That is a major oh, eye. Yeah, there's no way a punch caused that. I'm a, I'm a, a doctor, where's the doctor? Take a look at it. Doctor. Juan Francisco Arenas is the ringside doctor, and that is ugly. He may not be able to continue. No, whoa, look at that gut. Yeah. intentional but boy that's a big gash wow blood pouring down the side of his face and all the way down to his trucks we will see now what the champion edward valero is made of and he comes out and it's time to brawl but remember if this fight were stopped before round four because of that cut it would be a technical draw so if valero thinks he's got to try and end this fight quickly that's not the case after round four they would go to the scorecards 
Remind you of when Marvin Hagler saw his blood against Tommy Hearns, he turned out to be another human being.